The fate of the embattled member of parliament for the Asin North constituency in the central region, James Quayson, hangs in the balance. As to whether he stays in parliament to serve his term or his term is served depends on the court of appeal. Not just that, as to whether he walks a free man or is jailed also depends on the High Court. At the Court of Appeal, the MP is challenging the July 28, 2021 decision of the Cape Coast High Court, which annulled the Asin North constituency parliamentary elections and ordered a rerun, declaring him illegitimate. This was precipitated by a civil suit challenging the eligibility of Mr. Quaising, who allegedly at the time of filing and contesting the elections as an MP, had a Canadian citizenship in contravention of Article 942C of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, which provides that, quote, a person shall not be qualified to be a member of parliament if he owes allegiance to a country other than Ghana. This decision of the court was met with mixed reactions. For the majority in parliament who have since the commencement of the 8th parliament contested the eligibility of Mr. Quayson and sought to restrain him from being sworn in, the court's decision was a vindication. We had cautioned the implication of that decision for the member to sit in and be part of that decision making on that day. Each one of you will bear witness. And so today we have been vindicated. The minority, however, had issues with the court's verdict. We will contest the ruling. The judge erred both in law and in fact. For the NDC party, it was not over. They were ready to walk the long haul with Mr. Quayson. We will move, uh, support him uh, to ensure that justice is not denying the people and that the vote and the confidence that they repose in him uh, will not be dashed by anybody through any machination. So we are going there. Mr. Quayson subsequently appealed the case and filed for a stay of execution which is yet to be decided. While at it, the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Babing, was served the High Court's ruling to have him declare the Asin North seat vacant, but the Speaker declined. According to the Speaker, it was premature. Quote, that on the face of the certified true copies received by the Speaker, the matter is still a question of subjudice and has thus not been concluded by the courts with competent jurisdiction on the matter. Though the decision of the Speaker was widely criticized, Deputy Majority Leader and MP for Ifutu, Alexander Fenyomarkin, said the Speaker was well within the law. Speaker Bagbin was on the side of the law. I think that he doesn't have to come in in any way. So his letter was right because he's, that's the law. Amidst the tassel, Mr. Quaison is determined to get through unscathed. What I'm saying to my people at send notice that they should stay strong, maintain the support that they've given me, and as I've always said, I will never fail them. I've come purposely to uplift a very neglected community, and that's what I'm here for. But there's more trouble for him as he has now been slapped with criminal charges, namely Deceit of public officer contrary to Section 251B of the Criminal Offences Act 1960, Act 29. Forgery of passport or travel certificates contrary to Section 151B of the Passports and Travel Certificates Act 1967, NLCD 155. Not only making a false statutory declaration contrary to Section 5 of the Statutory Declarations Act 1971, Act 389. Perjury contrary to Section 2101 of the Criminal Offences Act 1960, Act 29. False declaration of office also contrary to Section 248 of the Criminal Offences Act 1960, Act 29, coming at a time when a hung parliament is evenly split over the controversial e-levy, the minority is suspicious. An MP down will mean a lot for the minority. The Nana Dudankwa government has now resorted to very crude and for all intents and purposes democratically shameful, disgraceful tactics, hoping that that will aid their effort to railroad the e-levy into law. But for some members of the majority side, Mr. Quayson brought it upon himself and 
and that the law must work. Practice democracy in Ghana. If whatever his name is that you talk about is faced with the consequences you're talking about, he is hoisted by his own petard. So let us all clarify the situation, find out where exactly we are with the legal processes with respect to this guy. But you see, I wouldn't cry about whatever happens to him because we warned him from day one that he was playing with the big, big inflammable fire. As it stands, Mr. Kwesin will have to fight the civil matter as the court of appeal and the criminal matter at the High Court. While at it, he still represents the people of Asin North in Parliament, but as to how long he will continue to represent them, time will tell.